I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another video, uh, big workout today, not gonna lie, video hopefully tomorrow for those who are interested. Um, I know we're also thinking, why does he wear the same shirt in every video? I own like six of these because I like them and they were cheap, so I thought, why not? I think it's more like five, but still, I do wear a different one every day, I'm not smelly, I promise. Anyway, um, I've seen like leaks of Verdi and Bellotti, like a dynamic duo. I'm really hoping that that's not the case. I do like Bellotti. Uh, he had a, a season objective uh, card that was really, really good. and I, I do like that card a lot. And I, I said ages ago on the Road to Glory that if he gets a better card, like a footies or something, or a team of the season, because I think he deserved a team of the season. Um, wait, did he deserve a team of the season? Maybe, no, Team of the Season moments I thought he was going to get. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought he deserved. But he didn't get one. So, in a way, I do want him. But Verdi already has a relatively high-rated uh, League SBC card. So, if that is the case, then that is a... Oh, God, yes, it is. Now, like I said, Bellotti, I'm very happy about. I'm hoping that they've boosted some of the like, skill move, weak foot sort of thing. Uh, but... Other than that, I mean, that card is going to be sensational. I'm hoping really cheap with one of those five chem team things. Verdi, 93 cam, so it is a position change. It does look like a really good card. But again, he has a card. Even, even Bellotti to a certain extent. They already have cards. We've talked about this before. They already have relatively high rated cards. And Saldi, for example, who plays for Torino, he doesn't have... A card like uh, other than his base if they made that um, a, a 93 rated left back for example okay it's another left back but it's a player who doesn't have a card there are plenty of other Torino players who could have been given a card alongside Bellotti or instead of both of them that little moan aside I am very happy that Bellotti's there they link together unbelievably well and they do look like good cards Unfortunately, he's only got the three-star skills, but a five-star weak foot, in my opinion, is far better than four-star, four-star. I'm actually happy with the three-star, five-star. High, high work rates for a striker is not ideal. 5'11 is, is fine. That's on the money. And I don't really care about the stats, even though they do look good. I don't care about them because I know how good this guy's finishing is. That season objective card... Was he 89 rated? He wasn't 90, but he was 80 something, 80 something high. And it was a very good card. Every shot he took, I thought, right, this is a goal. Every single time he was in front of goal, I thought that's going in. So I am very excited to get this guy into a team. And as much as I want to complete it, I feel like doing it on the road to glory makes more sense because it kind of fits into that team that I have. Because I've just done Danilo. I have Mertens. There's a nice little link there. And if I can get myself uh, maybe a decent Italian centre-back, I could maybe make that work. So, and of course, we're, we're likely to get a team of the season Serie A guarantee before long. So we could end up getting someone like De Vries or something to go into that team. Maybe not ideal, but I kind of want to do it on the road to glory. So I may not do it here. I mean, it depends how expensive it is as well. Oh my God, that. Oh my days. Forget what I said about me moaning about Verdi. Wow. Five-star weak foot, four-star skills, high-medium work rate, 5-7. And look at those stats. That is an unreal card. That would rival the best card in the game. Maybe, maybe, maybe a stretch too far, but it wouldn't be far off. With a chem style, that is going to be an unbelievably high-rated card. Yes, he's going to lack the strength uh, because he doesn't have the height as well as the strength stat himself. He doesn't have five-star skills. But other than that, I mean, if you just give him something to boost the finish in and maybe if you do end up playing him as a cam, maybe a dead eye. that's unreal. That is such a good card. So even though he does have... and I, well, we'll look at the price in a second. I'm kind of building up to that. If I go down to the... Um, let me just have a look to see what uh, the other card that he has. Right, let's go down to the Syria. League SBC. Uh, 
see, this is why they need a league SBC section and a players section. Because it just doesn't make any sense. Right, here we go. Group reward. It's 90, I think. Is it a 90 rated card? 87, my bad. So, no, okay, okay fair enough. So, 87, I thought, I thought for some reason it was a 90. So, the little rant I had at the beginning is still justified. I would much rather have had two different cards that haven't been given, you know, uh, non-performance-based upgrades. Because Verdi, you could argue Winter Refresh, maybe it is because it's a Winter Refresh, like a performance-based upgrade. But at the same time, it's not really. So, it would have been nice to have different cards. But, with that being said, that 87, albeit a decent card, is not good enough anymore. So... That's fine. And that, that new one is unbelievable. I mean, you've got six days to complete them. Question is, how expensive are they? I would imagine Bellotti is the cheaper of the two because that Verdi card looks incredible. Now, unfortunately, it's not one of those five chem teams. So it is going to cost you a little bit more. But I believe with justification and they're only asking 50 chem, which a lot of people will overlook. That is big. So it's not as expensive as the... What was... Benzema was an 82 rated team, but 80 chem, which sounds good. 82 rated team, that's brilliant. But the chemistry could have made it a little bit more expensive for some people. So the fact that it's an 85 rated team, but only 50 chemistry, an 83 rated team with only 50 chemistry, and the fact that it's only an 85 rated team, you can grind that through the 82 to 88 quite comfortably. Shouldn't take you an awful lot of time, and you could quite comfortably do it. Is the same going to have going to be said for Verdi? 82 and an 86. So they've... That's a bit weird. Just make it 83, 85, exactly the same. 60 chem they want for that one. I can understand why that one's going to cost you a little bit more. Because it is, in my opinion, the better card. But they are unbelievably good cards. I won't lie to you. I am a huge fan of that. I don't know how I'm going to work it on the road to glory. I really don't. But I want to do it there. I'm not going to complete them here because it would be a waste. In my team, on this account... Don't get me wrong, I could easily replace Andrea Perlo and Raul, and then job done, right? We play Verdi wide left, we put Bellotti up front, we play Ronaldo as a cam. Don't really want to be doing that, uh, but we can then play Lukaku CDM, we play Phil Foden as the secondary CM, and we're laughing to a certain extent. I could do that, but I don't want to because I don't really play on this account enough to warrant doing it right so my road to glory gets gets played an awful lot right so i would rather do it on there i love that team i wish that ronaldo was on the other account i really do anyway is there anything else to speak of today with regards to like a pack or something there should be those cards are unbelievable i would recommend them to anyone but lottie i can understand why people wouldn't want to do it because of the three star skills and it's not really one of those. I mean, he is good, very good. And speaking from first-hand experience of the season objective, I know that that card is going to be outside the foot shot trays. Well, not that he needs it, but he does have it. Power header for crosses. But that card, his positioning, unbelievable. His finishing is unreal. If you get to the byline and cut back, he is going to be there every single time. I genuinely can't wait to do it and get it done and, and, and get the reviews out for you as well. But... Um, yeah, that is going to be a lot of fun to use. I would recommend it, even though I know a lot of people will have better players in their clubs. And this, that is going to be a lot of fun. Again, maybe you've got someone in your team who is similar to this. I would, I mean, okay, Mertin's flashback isn't exactly a cam, but they are quite similar in the sense of they don't really have strength, but they have everything else. Um, that, But that's going to be so much fun to use, especially with a five-star weak foot and four-star skills. I cannot wait to try that card even though I bashed it in the first two minutes of the video. Right. Let's move on. I do want to see the prices of them, though, so I will have a, a check in a second. Untradeable Mega Pack. Uh, hate untradeable packs. Get the two-player pack as well. For this, you have to submit. That's not bad, you know, and, and I will do that right now for the video. 75-rated uh, team, which isn't too bad at all. Plays from the same league, max 10. That's the team I'm giving up for the Headliners Challenge. I have just noticed as well, while going to look at the price of Verdi and Bellotti, uh, that they've dropped a Bundesliga team of the season so far, guaranteed. I wish it was the Serie A, but I'm guessing they're going in order of when they drop the team of the seasons, which makes perfect sense. So, uh, that is going to be our untradeable mega pack. I will open this, 
before I go and do the Bundesliga because that is an 84 rated team with 60 chemistry, which to be fair is actually very good. The downside of that, of course, is there aren't that many great players in the Bundesliga guarantee. You've got Sancho, which most of the community have anyway. Lewandowski is the big one. You know, Nabry's not bad. There are a few other decent ones here or there. But for, for the most part, the Bundesliga was one of the, not the worst, but just the, the cheapest, if you will. Uh, just to touch on Verdi and, and Bellotti, if you go out and do them with coins, they are coming in at around 200k each. They're thereabouts. Well, Verdi is 200k or 2 220, something like that, which a lot of people will say is not worth it. I genuinely don't understand how people are going to say that Verdi is not worth 200,000 coins. Yes, it's July. But that doesn't mean that you can have everything for free. So he is quality. He has... I cannot believe I've just done that. And they've not even given me a board. The amount of special items... Oh, maybe they have given me a board. This this nonsense needs to stop. I tell you what, I'm very agitated with FIFA today. <laughs> uh, Team of the Week is an absolute disgrace. Um, because they've just not... Not the players that are in it, but they've not boosted them high enough, right? So I'm annoyed by that. that it's just an archaic system they need to, to change it and this ruins enjoyment for all i know i've packed myself a really like fun good card here that i could use in an sbc that i would have been happy to see pop out of the pack instead i see some 78 rated rubbish and i could have been excited for a second and seen that i had a board no duplicates in it unfortunately but it is what it is uh, and we get a bunch of uh, other stuff in there as well, position changes, what have you. Not the best of packs, and even if that Libertadores card wasn't in there, it was just a basic 78, it still would have been a bad 35k pack. However, at least I would have been excited for a couple of seconds to see the board. I apologise, although that is a fairly expensive card, albeit untradeable. Um, I apologise for my outburst. Let's continue. And for the Bundesliga team of the season, that's the team I'm giving up. Free Bruno from Objectives, have the 91, not a problem. And of course, Medell came from uh, some pack or another 82 to 88. Same with Bernard. Everything else is untradeable. Buffon we just got, of course. So it's essentially a free card, this, because I've grinded my way there. Speaking of grinding your way there... Uh, Verdi and Bellotti, in my opinion, is a grinder's paradise. Like I said... Going through and buying it all with coins is definitely going to be less cost effective because if you've got the time to dedicate to it, albeit not easy, well, I would say easy, it's, it's just time consuming, right? If you just do 82 to 88 from bronze to silver to that, then it's going to be very affordable, very easy to obtain, and you can get both of them done in six days if you have the time. If you don't have the time, then yeah, maybe they don't go into your team and because it's the middle of July, maybe they're not worth it although in my opinion they are i just think they're really good cards and a lot of people are slating them blotty's just shy of 200k and verdi is around 215 for two really good cards verdi in particular i don't see how anyone can really complain about that ea are not going to give us something for nothing and nor should they because then everyone would have completed their team and no one would want to play anymore right Let's get into the Bundesliga team of the season. Let me know in the comments what you've got in yours if you decided to open it. And of course, if you ha are going to do Verdi or Bellotti, let me know. Uh, let me know that as well. Don't be England. France. What's that? Centre back. What's that? Up in Meccano. 93? 93. Um, is that good? I think it's probably good. It could have been a lot worse. I know that for, for nothing. It could have been Hummels, which is a very high rated card, but not one that I'd want to use. Up in Meccano is a very good centre back. And a 93 rated car, which is higher than anything that I've put into that SBC. So, yeah, I am actually relatively pleased with that, to be fair. I don't, I mean, how much is he worth? Oh, un oh yeah, he's all right. Yeah, 384,000 coins is the cheapest one on the market right now. That is absolutely insane. That's a very good one. Um, I was trying, like, when I saw French, I thought, I don't know what it could be, because I just forget who's in what team, right? And then I was thinking, can it go into my into my team and you know what yes it can he can replace Adrissa Gay which I don't really want him to because I actually really like Adrissa Gay in that position however that is a genuine upgrade to my team and that's where I couldn't work out and that's why I was a bit off a I didn't know how expensive he was and obviously you judge on how good they are based on the price right but I didn't know whether I could fit him in and he slots in there beautifully this team is unreal 
I have put absolutely no effort into building it at all. I've just gone through the motions of six o'clock content. I've done a few icon packs and you might not like Raul and Pirlo. You might not even like Lukaku and that's fine because guess what? Lukaku's not going to stay there anyway. Diaby is the player that plays there instead of him. I love that team and to the point where it's almost as good as, if not better than my road to glory. And I say this in every episode, but it just seems to get better and better and better. I love it. I think that's fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you got from your Bundesliga and if you have done Verdi or Belotti, whether you think they're worth it or not. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.